Formula One is very international. Liberty, however, is an American company. Formula One does race in the United States. Let's talk about that. We've talked about the number of races on the calendar, right. but how many races would you like to see in the United States? How important is it to expand there? Definitely very important. I think a couple of things. A lot of people have said Liberty, American, therefore they want America. I think whoever would have bought Formula One, when you look at the strategic priorities, one of those being geographies, America would be a, a, you know, it's the most mature, wealthiest sports market in the world. So whether the Qataris would have bought it or Liberty bought it or you and I bought it, America's got to be a place to try and to uh, kind of crack the code. I think two for sure, maybe three. You know, I think from a U.S. perspective, the more you have, the better. Um, but, you know, if you aren't going to add lots of races, you can't just add two, three there without that taking from, from somewhere else. And I do like the comments they've made about making sure we take care of our core in Europe, the German Grand Prix. I'd love to see a French Grand Prix. It's where it all began. A hundred percent. So I do think, you know, at the end of the day, Formula One starts in London and goes out around the world. So we need to make sure we, we take care of our our core, uh, our core base. Well, let's talk about the mechanism of going out to the world. At the moment, we go out to the world without any marketing of the brand. We don't tread the way to the US Grand Prix. Lewis Hamilton's doing a good job on chat shows out in America doing when he gets out job. there, but yeah. he's the only guy, a lone individual doing that. Yeah. Formula One needs to be able to get out and do that. It needs an advance yeah. patrol and a post-race patrol as well, 100%. an office. 100%. I think there can, can that happen relatively quickly or is that, got a, is that a long-term? No, I, I think it can. I, I think there needs to be more collaboration amongst the industry, you know, the promoters with the teams, Farm with the promoters and the team, and, and ultimately, I think if I look at NASCAR's success, um, they keep the competition on the track, and and while of course there's competition for things like sponsor dollars away from the track, you know they all work really well together. They all mm -hmm. recognize, hey, if we all build this sport up, we all win, and so the coordination between the tracks, the teams, the drivers, NASCAR, while not perfect is really good. And there's dedicated people in those various industries to talk to each other and communicate with each other and work well together. And um, I think that can happen uh, relatively quickly and I think that would be good for, for everyone. Um, I think we need to spend, let me say we, the sport, um, more time on how do we make the pie larger as opposed to what historically has happened, which is fighting over your, your slice of the pie. You know, if the pie is a lot bigger, Maybe the same slice is plenty good if you've you know, the pie slice is big. But ultimately, who's going to pay for that? Who's going to pay for that brand production? Well, I, you know, I think marketing. So coming back to NASCAR, uh, which I just think are some mm. great examples, and I know that's all a bit American sounding, um, but it is the commercially uh, has more sponsors than any other sport. Their their sponsors advertise the sport. So you go into a grocery store, and again, Formula One's different than NASCAR, and down the cereal aisle is your General Mills and your Kellogg's promotions. You go down that aisle, there's your Coca-Cola and, you know, Jeff Gordon Pepsi, and you go down that aisle. And so actually what ended up happening was while NASCAR spent money themselves, their advertising campaign was their, where there are thousands of sponsors. And so I think uh, Formula One's gonna need to spend some money but then also maybe rely and work on the, the sponsors. I'd love to see, I um, mean, Singapore does an outstanding job. Montreal, you know, that Crescent Street does a fantastic job. I'd like to see the sponsors and the teams come together to turn these Grand Prix from a Friday, Saturday, Sunday into a Monday to Sunday, um, you know, type of event where, you know, you land at the airport, you know, the, the show's going on and getting everyone to work together. And I think sponsors have a big, big role in they want to promote their brand and they want to promote it through people's passion, which if you're in Formula One or that's the passion point. So, you know, let those sponsors go. Let them, let them do, you know, they're fantastic marketers themselves. They have some of the biggest consumer brands in the world. So I think uh, the sport should rely on the sponsors to, to help contribute to that. It's an interesting point, isn't it? How much should Formula One be Formula One, the product that the teams hone and change with band-aids sometimes, change qualifying here, change the rear wing there, and how much should it become entertainment where the drivers are doing things way outside their normal comfort zone, maybe they're 
in a celebrity race before each Grand Prix with local heroes, maybe they're dancing with the stars. Maybe they're doing, how much, how do you see the growth in that I'd like show? To, how much I'd, of it is, like, in it is a show? I'd like to see a lot more, a lot more show. Uh, you'll remember back when uh, BMW had the Pro Car Series and you know, mm. the Formula One drivers did it. You know, now you get into, because the money's so big, you know, conflicts. Well, if I go do that other series, is that a different manufacturer than I drive for? Is that series sponsored by a competing? So, it, you know, it's as the world has gotten more sophisticated and bigger and it's a wealthy sport, you have to navigate those things. But I, I'd like to see, I think Williams does a great job. Last year in Silverstone, I saw Moss and Botas outside. They that Williams had just kind of set up their own table and signed autographs at Silverstone this year. A couple of the drivers jumped off the truck and went to corners. And I'd like to, I'd like to see more of that. These drivers are paid a lot of money. Um, I don't. Uh, I think it's okay for them to work a, a little, a little harder outside the car. I mean, they work very hard, but you know they're in the show business, and uh, people want to meet them and get their autographs. And so I think we, as a sport, have marketed to ourselves a little bit too long, and we need to really put the fan first. Because if we can get more fans younger fans then everything else falls in place because we'll get more sponsors which will make the teams wealthier which will give us more teams we can pay the drivers more we can so we just the fan that's that's where our attention needs to be